I'm Ty Burr. I'm Wesley Morris. And today on Take Two, we're talking about the company Men. This is called the Tiger. We do it when we need to get our energy up. Come on, no use sitting around feeling sorry for ourselves. I will win. And it is about a um, layoffs in the Boston area, actually, about about three men who are laid off from their giant shipping conglomerate that's somewhere in the in the Boston area. And they're played by, respectively, Ben Affleck, Tommy Lee Jones, and Chris Cooper. And it's about their wives and their lives and their uh, attempts to deal with thinking that they had a secure job and environment and all of a sudden... Suddenly um, finding out that they don't really... I mean, they're worse off without their jobs than, they, than you would A, think they would be, and B, than they thought they would be. Well, this is a movie about people that had money to save and spend it on Porsches. So, you know, you're, you're forgiven if you might have trouble mustering sympathy for this kind of character. Let's speak here for a moment. I just got thrown off the course of the club. Are you playing golf? Taking your Porsche detail? I need to look successful. Um, but I don't think the movie's asking you to, it's a weird movie in that it's it's both asking you to have sympathy for them to a, to an extent, but also asking you to, to look at corporate culture right. and to realize that they're the strata in corporate culture in which a guy like the Ben Affleck character, for instance, can suddenly be virtually homeless Screwed. Yes. Uh, if he loses right. what seems like a fairly high paying job. Well, the issue with the movie, and uh, uh, to my mind, it's a, it's, a, it's a good movie, it's a decent movie, it's an earnest movie. It's made by John Wells, who was responsible for The West Wing and ER, and this yeah. is his feature debut. Um, I wanted it to be more angry. Uh, I, you know, not just in, within the characters, but within its tone. There's a great scene where Chris Cooper, who's sort of the most pissed off of the fireys, and who he's shows really, up. He's actually really, he's really good. Yeah, he's really good. He's, he's kind of painful to watch, which is actually yes. what's good about him. He shows up at the brand spanking new corporate headquarters and he starts throwing rocks at the building. And I wish there had been more of that anger in the movie and, more, and pointed at the right direction. Well, I feel like the problem with the movie for me is that I think it's really well made and, and, and well acted, but I feel like it also, feels like the beginning of something that has 12 more episodes. Right. Now that said, Ben Affleck I thought was very good. And he uses that sort of smugness that we used to loathe in him as a character flaw. No, I mean, yeah. he, I, we talked about this before. Yeah, that, with the You town. know, he yeah. has become, he is, I mean, I, I always believed he was a good actor. Right. But now I think he believes he's well, a good I, actor. Well, he has the I distance, think is, I think, on, on himself and how he comes across on, on screen. Right. Uh, but Tommy, I, mean, Tommy I like all the good. performances in this movie. Even um, Kevin Costner, even Kevin Costner shows up at the end. He's the blue-collar brother-in-law, and he's still working that lousy Boston accent from 13 Days. But he's good. He gets a good character performance. Um, and uh, it's, it's a good movie. It, it's just slight. It's slight, and it could have been great. Um, but if you want to uh, see some good acting and some good Marblehead mansions and local color, um, that's The Company Men.